It's dark, like pitch black. Where am I? Oh, was there a power outage? Where's the circuit breaker? But why am I glowing like I've been splashed with fluorescent paint and stuck under a black light? W whatever. Hello? Is anyone here? Can I walk around? <laughs> Don't blame me if I start to collect rings floating by the ground. But ew, who knows what I could step in? It could be something like ABC gum. Uh, should I just wait for more text boxes to pop up? Jeez, I am bored. Whose message am I waiting for anyway? I apologize for the delay. Have you been here long? Whoa, a voice. I hear a voice. Whoa, I'm falling. Totally falling, you guys. But, uh, I mean, aren't most of my origin stories like this? Nothing to worry about, or whatever. Still, I've been falling for a while now. It makes me think I'll land in some mysterious little land. Gave the wrong answer? Do you mean to say that you stopped listening to me too? Um, that one girl who picks on me is the Seven Sages, right? I don't like her. And you clearly only get about half of the situation too. Fine, I'll explain again. I might even talk longer this time, so make a sandwich and listen. Aw, really? Can't we, like, mash through the boring stuff with the X button? I'm not very good at mashing. I prefer the skip function. So let's press the square button. You will listen to my plot advancing lecture! Got it? Okay. I am the Seven Sages Idol, an advertising executive. You may call me Agnes. Introductory graphic text? What the heck, developers? I didn't get one when I appeared. I can't wait to talk all about this at the next Seven Sages meeting. That they really changed the story with this remake. Wait a minute, where's Compa? Compa, where are you? Are you all right? Y yes, see, I think I'm okay. Phew, it would have been a disaster if you lost your memory too. Where are we anyway? I think we're beneath the forest. This place feels a bit weird. Yeah, I'm getting bad vibes from this place. What's this? Kampa, can you take a look? Do you know what it is? I don't know. I've never seen something like this before. I know. It must be a metal to change into items with a king somewhere. What? Where's that event flag-inducing growl coming from? Nap-nap! There's a huge monster over there! Ah! Please help me! Oh no, Kompa! She's being censored and censored! I'm not being censored! I'm just off-screen, Nap-nap! Oh, you know fan service. Well... Time to get a bit more serious now. She an acquaintance or what? Honestly, she's like one of those annoying relatives you don't like too much because she's always criticizing or picking fights with you. Ahem. 
Let me explain to those in the audience new to the series. We fought this hero boss lady character called R4 like a billion times in the older games and anime releases. She's so boring. I seriously don't even want to look at our snore right now. She's not about to make us enter a boss fight, is she? Ugh, I'm so over it. Big sis, maybe you should be less meta in explaining it so the players get a more immersive, believable experience. But in our world, R4 should have perished. And in the other dimension, I thought she had reformed completely. Then... what's your objective? <gasps> Are you trying to steal my spot as the protagonist? Hmm... Mega Dimension Destructor R4. Well, now that you mention it, taking your spotlight sounds like a brilliant idea. Did you hear that, Nep Jr? Mega Dimension Destructor R4? You shouldn't laugh, Neptune! Not when she's so serious! But, I mean, using the name Destructor? It's so freaking lame! Uh, shut up! Always finding a way to make a mockery of me! You will not be forgiven, brats! You're so cute when you're all red and embarrassed, Arfie. You should leave her be, big sis. The last thing you want to do is cross the line with a crazy person. Actually, she's right. She's clearly not thinking straight to be dressing like that at her age. Even more so than youngsters these days. We have no idea what she'll do if she snaps. We must treat her delicately. You fools continue to gossip about my impeccable fashion sense! Alrighty, now I'm getting all fired up too! Huh? Our opponent's bigger than a skyscraper? That's perfect! In fact, bring it on! Neptune! Neptune, Jr., I'm the pro tag! There's no way I'll lose! I appreciate the gesture, Neptune, but this fight is mine, and mine alone. I can't believe you! You hadn't caught on? She's happy-go-lucky and always spouts nonsensical meta-jokes, but Neptune always... Hold it! Ugh. Pipe down! We're not even talking to you! Why are you yelling over there like an asshole? the protagonist of this game, and we're fairly close to the climax, aren't we? But then, why is the bigger me standing out more than I am? Hasn't my narrative been super weak since being in Heart Dimension? I got beat, captured, even though I was in next form, I've barely had screen time! And just when I got saved and the party split, I thought I was the main of the story. Nope, it's all about Uzume and bigger me. This is protagonist fraud at this point! I'll take this to court, I'll sue, and I'll win! Calm down, Nep. You were the protagonist for the hyper-dimension part of the story. She's right. Since you're the protagonist, you should be as tolerant as a goddess. Or at least a mother. But even though I'm the protag and face of this series, I get the cold shoulder in terms of face time and ability. And, and, and... It seems Nepsy might fall again. I don't have the confidence to pull her out of the whirlpool of delusion this time. Ah, freaking damn it! What the hell is wrong with all of you? Well, she has a cute little target named Bouquet. She's in an online game after all. Oh, but I'm the main character, just so you know. <laughs> Did you see the title? Cyber Dimension Neptunia. It's not Verdia for a reason, you know. <laughs> well, in any case, Vert, it's nice of you to play with us. I'm sure we can learn a few things from you in this place. If the GM made an appearance, 
I'd like to ask for comments from the goddesses as well. <laughs> we are, of course, on standby. Well, the title of this game has four goddesses in it, so it's only natural. Come on, hurry and move the camera over here. Okay, are we all properly in the shot? I am sure you have already heard this many times so far, but allow us to tell you as well. Congratulations on completing the game. You have our infinite thanks for helping us return to this land. Ooh, I'm beat. We're at the end, everybody. It all began when we were defeated by Gold Third at the exhibition matches. Please listen to the following messages from Nepgear and others. They're for you! Thank you so much for playing! I ended up showing a little bit of my naughty side, but... Wait! What the goodness is this script? You're not supposed to be that kind of character! Get off it, Nepgear! Just read your lines and stop messing around! Let's see, where are my lines? Okay, here we go. <coughs> so, champ, was I cute enough for ya? Oh, Uni, don't you get caught up in Neptune's ridiculousness. The main game isn't even over yet. Huh? Wait, so this script… I thought we were doing the thank you for playing bit that we always do at the end. No, of course not! This is the second time in the series Neptune's pulled this stupid prank. She has a talent for going wild the moment I take my eyes off of her. By the way, about that hyper-share crystal, how did you create it? Oh, about that. Use these to create a share crystal. I remember it now, Umio. The world was this kind to me. Nepsy? Objection! I object to those memories! We had such a nice mood going. What is the matter so suddenly? It isn't sudden! You both tried to let it go by, but there was an important plot point there! Plot point? Do you mean East War? Not that. It's the words of the gentleman you seem close to in your flashback. My deepest wish is to see your dreams come true and to be with you on the day that they do. They're exactly the same as Umio's lines.